August's gardening collab. <laughs> I'm just checking because they are potty trained. Um, what was saying? No idea. Oh, right. I'll link the other channels below. And as far as the other channels go, I'm sorry if I've been horrible with keeping up with your channels lately. It's just I've been going through a lot and um, I've been trying to keep myself sane. Um, but that's by the by. Um, Gardening Collab runs every year from March, October. It's hosted by me and Maria from the Richardson Simple Living. And I'll link her channel and everybody else involved this month below if you want to check that out. All my large family raw and filter vlogs now on Patreon and I'll link that below as well. This channel is occasional rants about home education and motherhood, some cleaning and motherhood type videos, um, uh, the odd charity shop haul and the garden club. So I haven't done that much this month because like I say I've been just trying to keep myself sane. Although last night I did shake myself and go out and do a bit of work on the garden which I'll show you in a minute. But not for the first time, I'm glad I come off my allotment because on the allotment I'd have been, there'd have been no room for, oh you're having a bit of time off because you're going through a crisis or a tragedy or whatever. I'd have been having annoying letters and emails about get down there and do weeds and I'd have gone up in a panic trying to do it in a rush. Whereas here, I've been able to take a bit of time to keep myself sane and then last night, off my own back, totally relaxed and unbullied into it. I was like, right, I'm going to do a bit of work on it. And it was enjoyable rather than a rush and a panic. So, not for the first time, I'm glad it's in my garden now. Um, the question for this month, for Lisa and Spencer set the question. What was it? I think, if I got it wrong, I do apologise. But I think it was, do you garden on your own or other people? Well, I do a bit on my own. But I also do bits with my kids, my kids helping me or just showing them stuff because it's educational, it's thinking about them. Yeah, so anyway, I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you now, I'll show you now. Now, I cleaned all this window out because I thought I'd only have my pepper plants on the top now. But no, and I'm going to stand on a chair, I'm going to risk my life for you. <laughs> You know how Pudge, want, my Pudge, my oldest, who's nearly 14, wants to start a herb garden? My mum gave him some seeds and these lovely little markers. Look, that one's, hang on. That one says basil on it. Can you see? So, only four's come up with the basil. This one's parsley, look. What's this one? Chives hasn't come up at all. Um, There was a car... Was, there was a rosemary and a something else marker, but we didn't have the seeds that, so I put the markers away. This one's coriander. That one's thyme, and thyme hasn't come up either, unfortunately. But I don't know what to do with herbs. My husband said, oh, you just leave them to grow like that, and you just cut the top off when you want some. But I'm thinking in terms of a herb garden, I don't know how you translate it into getting them to grow outside. But It's starting to smell nice now. Yeah, nice and smell. So we'll see. My sweet banana peppers, that one's growing one. I've had loads of flowers, but not much doing because the weather's gone to thing again. There's another one lot. But you know, even if I get a couple and save the seeds for next year, then it'll be fourth generation seeds next year, I think. Okay. Actually, that looks like it needs water, so I'm glad I, glad I stood on a chair. Have you been watering your herbs, not my peppers, young man? <coughs> uh, that fence is doing my head in. These two sticks here keep falling out. And put my nearly 14 year olds put them in, and I'll put them back in, and they've still fallen out again. It needs sorting, it does. Um, and the other thing is, I tried to trim all this edge yesterday. Um, but I did it late at night and the cuttings are still on the floor and I haven't done it because I was busy today and then the weather was rubbish so you just had to put up the room not you? Um, so first off let me show you my girls look your girls chickens these tomatoes are blooming I've only actually got two tomatoes growing somewhere I, I need to look up how to trim them you went to trim them back aren't you or trim the shoots off or something so all the energy can go into making tomatoes but I'm not sure how to do it so I haven't done it <laughs> I know I need, I need to find a sorted tart 
because even though the weather's gone to pot and it's freezing, a friend of mine had eaten on the day, it's August. It's meant to be red hot next week, so ideally I need to do it and then hopefully get some tomatoes. There was a tomato somewhere. Jelly, careful, don't. There was a tomato somewhere. Don't know where it is. And now we've got this one for me here, look. And the other thing is some of my strawberries are shooting off. These need watering. We know it was raining earlier. Um, some load of my raspberries are shooting off runners. I haven't sourced them all out yet. These are only the ones I've sorted so far. I need to pull my finger out and sort some more out. When uh, Pudge said he wanted to, my nearly 14 year old Pudge, when he said he wanted to start a herb garden, as well as giving him them seeds, my mum gave him some cuttings off her mint plant. And that one's going a bit peculiar. But the bin, she brought them. Pinky's birthday. Pinky's birthday, which was the 1st of August. And it's now, is it the 25th of August? Matt? So they're doing well, they're not dead. And some little shoots are coming up, look, on their own. So hopefully we'll have a lovely mint plant. Does it I smell bet like they mint? they die in the offspring garden. Oh, smells like mint. Have you smelled it? Like, not, wait, so, not, one, not so much. This one doesn't smell. Yeah, not so much the long ones, mm. the little ones. That smells ones. really nice. It smells like spearmint polos. And um, we was experimenting. Is it other parsley? I'm, I think now. We think the parsley. <laughs> <laughs> There's some inside. Are they the ones that didn't come up inside? Um. Uh, only two've not come up. And we think this is parsley, it could be something else. But whatever it was, we planted some inside and some out here. This is a toy tray, which I shall get back at some point. Mommy, oh. Why are you in the chicken what? coop? Mom. What's Mom. that all about? Mom, I didn't know you had two tomatoes growing. I thought only had one. Well, Mommy. have a look, Minx. There might May be the more, one. you know, the bushing one. out. No, I should tell you what's The ones out here were doing better than the ones inside. They are, aren't they? They're, they're thicker. Even now, it said on the packets to store them inside so they do it. But the, what I was saying earlier when I was filming them inside was mm. that we don't know what you're meant to do with them next. Your father said just cut them off when you need them, but if you want them outside, I don't think someone wants to do it. Are you still in the chicken coop? <laughs> the majority of my golden Virginia this year got eaten. That one's doing all right, but it should be a lot further on, and normally it's twice the height. Unless I'm exaggerating, I don't realise I am. Normally it's bigger anyway. One in the middle has been out. That one's doing all right. Um, hang on, they come round. Oh, um, see these toys, Lever. <laughs> this was going to be the bit for Pudger's herb garden. I planted, or you can't tell, I planted a row of manky taters with that. So I don't know if they'll come up or not. Because you can't, I did have it heaped up. You can't even tell now. The chickens have been all over it. So we'll see. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, they've been just baffing him in potatoes. And there was in here scratching up my legs the other day. I was out. So, these tyres here, that one had Golden Virginia and Bidimina eaten. That one had Golden Virginia and been eaten. That one had them potato plants in. And I dug that out yesterday and I got some little potatoes, which is alright from a manky potato. I think I'll use them. Little potatoes is the intro, but there were little potatoes, but I got some out of that. And then the one on the end is that black currant but plant my husband got me. Now, these leeks, I saw a, a, a reel on Instagram where they, they were bigger than mine, but this bloke had these leeks where the, the leaves are going over like that, and he trimmed off the top of the leaves um, and said you could cook them. And he said if you trim the tops off, the growth then goes into the plant. And I thought, oh, what a good idea. But I've looked it up everywhere, and everywhere I've Googled says you shouldn't do that, so I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows, tell me. Um, yeah, it's a, mess. it's a mess in here, but I'm not down the lot anymore. I can do it a leg. Um, that's my daughter pretending she's in the circus. <laughs> they're raspberry canes. Like I said, we only got a couple off them, but they're alive, so that's what I'm bothered about at this juncture. Um... That had onions in, but some ras some strawberry cakes runners have come over and just inserted themselves in there, and I don't know about it. Um, more leeks, raspberry cane that's gone do lally. More leeks, but they're small. You see, they were in pots, and I re when I when I pulled all my onions up, I replanted them, so they're not as big as these ones over here. What the? 
She was telling me they found an apple off that tree at the back. The cooking apples there. That's a lovely looking apple, that, Jay. Oh, a big, ginormous. If they're cooking apple, if it's a cooking apple, we'll probably give it to Mama on Tuesday, though, because she likes apple pie and on you like apple pie. I'd be biting. Well, if he bites it, he'll... Check me! We threw it without even biting. Just pick it up, Mink. There are my hedge cuttings, which I will move at some point. <laughs> uh, that bush, which is doing well. There's some little leeks. I forgot about the new planting out. Strawberry, strawberries, everything needs weeding. But like I said, I've been looking after the old mental health. Um, Jerry, what are you doing? There's no more apples, though. There's only one. And um, that's a gooseberry plant, which is going mad. But there's nothing on it. See, a couple of runners have gone over into here as well, look. They're not runners. Gooseberry, they're like, they're like little and green and sour. They're ever so sour. Um, Carol's husband, husband give you one. Yeah. Uh, so we know what I'm talking about. Then, don't you? Oh, and this dog, this dog keeps coming in here and he was done one of my leaks. Didn't you? Oh it's Jerry throwing the apple about. I thought he, thought he fell over somebody. Um, no, he's in my strawberries now. Look, oi! Jasper, I can see what you're doing, you know. I'm not daft, you know. While I'm out here, when I think I'll put edit this. Hang on. I think I changed my clothes because it's freezing. I think while I I'll edit this video together. I'm doing it on the phone now. It's ever so easy without doing it on computer. What? I just said apple. There's no more in tree though, Barry. Um, what was I saying? It's a good job trees can't talk. That tree would be like, leave me alone. He's saying Alfie wants you to go get him. What was I saying? What was I saying? We've started the game now. He says, oh, she goes and gets him. He throws his apple. What was I saying? Oh, so while he's saving on the phone, I think I'll pick all these edge cuttings up and chuck them on the compost pile. But it's about 8 o'clock at night now, so I'm not... I'm not doing anything else.